say, you children shouldn't be playing around this yak. It's, it's too near the swamp. And your clothes are all wet. You feel cold? Huh? Well, it looks as though I'll have to find this out for myself. Oh, hello, Sam. Oh, hold this for me, will you? All right, Doc. Open your mouth. Mm-hmm. All right. <coughs> Say, I told you to stay away from that shack. It's condemned. Yeah, but, Doctor, that's where they live. What? Yeah, they ain't got no folks except an older brother. He moved in there with the kids a few weeks ago. It makes his living salvage in order parts off in the dump. Well, I'll talk to him then. Well, I don't know, Doctor. He ain't the kind that I'd try to reason with. Huh? Sorry, bud. No hitchhikers. Not so fresh, fella. This is Dr. Christian. Oh, a doctor, eh? And what are you doing down here, slumming? Or did you just get lost? I'm sorry, but this shack is a health man if you can stay here. Sure, sure. Reserve us a suite in the hotel when you get back to town. I'll try to find a place to put you up temporarily. And toss us out in the street again? No, thanks. We've been all through that routine before. Have you been through pneumonia with those children? You kids feel sick? Cold? You see, Doc, you can't peddle your herbs around here. We all feel fine. Now, listen to me, fella. Come on, Sam. We have to see Martha. You better think it over. Are you cold? No, not really. Nothing serious. And why didn't you say so? Come on. Let's get some wood and stoke up the furnace. Wing to be built. Better not let the doctor catch you sitting in that draft. Who told you to get out of bed, young lady? She insisted, doctor. I, I feel all well again. I think. Perhaps you better stay in bed, Martha. Oh. Just a little while longer. We kind of figured she'd be cured by now. It's hard for a child to come a little around here. The climate ain't right, right, Doctor? That's it, Sam. The climate. Dr. Christian! We didn't want to ask you to come down, Doctor, but seeing you was here, we, we thought maybe we could split the call. Of <coughs> course, Jane. What's wrong with you? Oh, it isn't me, Doctor. The baby we want you to look at. Oh, well, you seem to have been getting enough milk. Oh, all I can hold, Doctor. Certified and pasteurized. <laughs> He's driving on it, but isn't it a little expensive? Well, we've been eating a little light to make up for it. But the baby don't know, because we tell him we eat downtown in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> can you see my husband? I'm pretty mighty poor lately. Can't you see me too, Doctor? My kids are sick. Looks like bad luck hit us all at once. It'll be even more bad luck when it really... Unless we can do something about it first. Well, let's get to work. Hey, look! make you change your mind. There's nothing wrong. The kids are learning to inhale, that's all. <coughs> well, now, I told you before that... The answer's still no.
On second thought, uh, we accept your offer. Mm -hmm. Oh! Well, come on. Doctor? I brought guests for lunch. Oh, Doctor. Why didn't you telephone? My good lace tablecloth is in the laundry, and I only have stew. They'll have stew. Stew? Gosh. Are you quite sure they're only staying for lunch? I thought Dave here could sleep over the garage. What about them? I thought maybe you could find someone who'd take them temporarily. Look, if that's the way it is, we'll scram now. Come on, kids. You talked so big this morning, I figured you were a boss around here. Keep a civil tongue in your head when you're talking to the doctor, young man. And as for you, come with me. You'll need a lot of washing before you could ever sit at my table. Make yourself at home, Dave. Oh, don't mind me. I forgot it was spring. Uh, Judy was just fixing a button. It uh, came off. Don't apologize. That's your idea of a good time. Did you want to make an appointment? Sure. How are you fixed for tonight? Say, who do you think? Ouch! Quiet, caveman. You're interrupting a 